Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's episode, I'll be teaching you guys how to get the experimental Merv in Fallout 3. Now, this weapon is um, a unique variant of the Fat Man launcher, I believe, and it fires more than one nuke, which is great when you're running against super mutants and stuff like that, even behemoths. And um, also, guys, one thing to mention is that this is probably the last. Um, this, this is probably going to be the last unique weapons video I do before Broken Steel because right now I don't have the luck requirements to do the Firelands yet so what I'll have to do is I'll have to um, complete the game then I'll move on to the Firelands during Broken Steel so um, yeah and we're getting very close to completing the game so this will be our last um, unique weapons video before we hit the last part of the game so um, the first place you want to go, well there's actually three transcript, transcripts you need to get and they're all for part of the Keller family and these holotapes you can pick up, you can go to three locations and pick them up so the first location you need to go to, you can do this in any order by the way the first location you need to go to is the VAPL58 power station now once you're here you'll find some good loot inside of here and um, what you want to do is you want to keep heading straight on from here yeah, straight in this direction where I'm going. And you should keep going this way until you um, will keep following these power lines. And as you can see in the distance, you can see this little base that someone's built. And in there is going to be part of the, well, one of the hollow tapes you need. Now just keep going the way I'm going. Yeah, and as I can, and as I said, if you want, you can um, keep going. As, as I said, if you want, you can go inside that power station and get whatever loot you want. Because when I went in there, I got a laser pistol, some energy cells, dim packs, and stuff like that. So, and um, electronics guide. And once you're here, you should see some ghouls, or like um, two wastelander ghouls, so you can kill them. Yeah, I think I had the bloody mess pack, don't I? Alright, so you can loot them and take some pre-war books if you really need to. And you'll find a first grade kit with a blood pack. And you'll find a personal foot locker that you can loot. That's if you have the requirements for it. Yeah. Right, hold on. Well, it's going to take me ages to do a very hard lock. Oh yeah, now inside you'll find a power fist and some ball caps. But what you'll really want to look for is... Um, you'll find a mini, mini nuke here. And on the side you should find a holotape somewhere. Hold on, let me just try and find it. It should be... Unless I've already picked it up. From like ages ago. Hold on, guys, let me just find it real quick. Um, they're definitely not on the guys, so. And they're definitely not around the sides of here, so hold on. Come on, I need to find this. There we are. So there it is, I just missed that. So you can get the Keller family. I think it's actually one of five you need, to be fair. So you can get this script right here. And if you want, you can listen to it. Well, you have to listen to it at least for one second, obviously. But I'll just play the entire clip so you guys can listen. Tina, it's me, your brother, Alex. Listen, Mom would kill me if she knew I was contacting you, but she's being an impossible bitch right now. You have to come home. Do you understand me? This thing with China, it's not going away. We're going to try and get into one of those vaults. If that doesn't work, well, I have a backup plan. 
There's this secure bunker, another sort of vault, inside the National Guard depot, and... Look, no matter what it takes, the whole damn Keller family's gonna ride this storm out, but you've got to get your ass home. Now! Okay, so, um, as you heard from that clip, um, they were all hiding in, like, a bunker or something, or, like, trying to escape when the war started. So, um, yeah, now we can move on to the next, um, holotip, and I will show you the location now. Okay, guys, so the next place you want to head over to is right over here, just across the bridge, near Big Town, and, um, you just want to head to this location right here. And right in front, you should see, hold on, guys. Turn the radio off. Yeah, um, you should um, see this church, and you want to go inside, and there should be a holotape right here, and you should find some other nice loot. Like, um, you can find some stim packs in here, hopefully. Um, DC internal me general of medicine, some darts, if you're really into that kind of stuff. And, um, yeah, so after you've gotten all that, I'm just going to show you the holotape as usual. So this is two of five. Paul, it's me, Tina. I heard back from my sister Candace. We couldn't get into a vault. 101, 87, didn't matter. All full to capacity. But my brother Alex is a soldier and he sort of stole the passcode for a secure army bunker. He did it for the family, but they caught him. Before they took him into custody, Alex, he sent us each one number of the four digit code. That way we all have to be together to get in. He gave me number five, the day of my birth. So, I guess what I'm saying is, I'm still leaving. It's been fun. Kind of. Oh, and I'm not pregnant, so no worries. Alright, so after you just heard, they've all got codes for the bunker and that's what we're trying to look for. So, I'll move on to the next transcript right now. Okay guys, so the next place you want to go over to is the Grizzly Diner. Now it's right here on the map. Um, it's normally in the top right corner near the Green Pastures Disposal Site and the Temple of Union. So you just want to come here and when you're inside and you just want to walk inside guys. There will be some traps so be careful. I think there's a shotgun trap somewhere as well. You've also got these floor traps. Disarm them. So you can get some loot from this place and also... Hold on. Yep, yeah, so uh, hold on, I've just leveled up. So I think I'll go for I might go for the adamantium skeleton perk, why not? And um so the transcript will be right here. Three of five. Now uh, we'll just play this right now. Mom, it's Candace. Oh my god, it's really happening. I can see the cloud. It's so big. Mom, I'm so scared. I'm heading to this vault now. I'll do whatever I can to get inside. My number of the passcode was seven, right? Okay, so as you just heard, the bombs were going off, and her passcode is 7. 
So that is three of five and hold on. And um, we'll be on to the next location, so I'll see you at the next location. Okay guys, so the next place you want to go is Rock Breaker's Last Gas and it's located here on the map to the left, just under the river. And um, this is the same place we went to to get the reservist rifle. Now you'll see the um, shack up on the hill. You should notice this if you've already watched that video. But um, you go up to the top of the shack. And inside that shack will be a holotip, so yeah. You may encounter some enemies, of course. I'll just take them out. So we'll just go inside the shack. Hold on. Oh, no, and there's a red scorpion. Alright, so inside the shack. Wow, um, super mutants have populated it now. There we are. Yeah, I thought Fox was one of the enemies for some reason. But um, when you're inside, um, hold on. Oh, what are they doing? Yeah, when you're inside, there should be a hollow tip somewhere on the side here or somewhere in here but um, because I already went to this place I probably already took it so you'll have to find it along the side here somewhere he literally put in so much effort into trying to kill that one little red roach right so we go to notes and it should be down here somewhere because I randomly picked it up during my last playthrough so we'll just play it right now Ralphie son this is your father we can't get into the goddamn vault without you. Get your ass over here now. My four is useless without you, boy. Now we know his code's four. Now let's go find the last holotip. Alright guys, so the next place you want to go to is, well, the last place. You want to go to Anchorage Memorial right here on the map in the middle of the city. And it should be in the middle of the river and all. So you want to keep heading north across here. You should encounter a tent with a truck. Now we'll just cross the river right here. And it's right over there. So you want to just head left. And there'll be some centaurs. I mean centaurs. Now after you've killed them. You want to go into the truck behind here. Or into the tent. Sorry. And wow. That just came out of nowhere. <laughs> Actually kind of scared me and all. So we'll just heal from that. But um, you want to keep heading through here. Found you. We oh. are. And now you want to head through this tent. There should be a Keller family script through here. And you want to pick that up. And you wanna and now I'm just gonna play it for you guys. So I'll just go all the way back up. Candace, it's Ralph. Tell Dad there's no way in hell I'm spending nuclear Armageddon trapped with him in a fucking closet. You can have my number. It's six. Now if you'll excuse me, I've got a mushroom cloud to walk into. Have a happy holocaust. Right, so we just got his number, now we've got all the numbers guys. And this is the last um script we've just had, so um, I'll see you at the, um, I think, what's, what's it called? Hold on. And we're going to go to the um, army depot. So I'll see you at the army depot then. <laughs> okay guys, so you want to head over here to the National Guard depot. It's right here on the map. 
I suggest coming from either Vault 108 to a here, so the National Guard Depot. You want to head straight in. You'll see two Protectrons. I just killed them before I started. So, um, yep. Let's cut the cells from them. Just go inside. There we are, and now we can just go straight through into the bunker. National Guard armor. So here, so you'll find a lot of combat armor here you can take if you really want to. And um, a lot of hazmat suits too, so. I'll just take all that and hold it. You also have. Um, these batons. Oh, I didn't need to set on the knives because I don't like them. Combat knife, there we are. Right. Not really that much I can take because I'll become over encumbered. So, yeah. Take that and I can just repair it. Some stim packs and all. Actually, you know what I'll do? I'm gonna get Fox carry some of this stuff, actually. You have something to say? Yes, by all means. Let's. Let's. I 
Do you have to come by armor here? Yeah, they do. Is there anything else I might need from here? I wouldn't need a minigun actually. I, I need to start getting some more stuff for Fox to be honest. Like, I mean, he's kind of drained out on stuff. I don't really care about my companions that much to be honest. Even though I do like to get them. When you can also find a small gun spot will hit you. Alright, so entity access code and they're in the bunker. So while we're in the bunker right here, we should be able to find it. And while we're here, we can also find some um, stuff that we might need, like pre-war money. Definitely need that. Radics, um, ammunition. Probably pins and like stim packs. Diffs. Alright, I'll try it again. Right, these glowing ones are annoying me. Oh yeah. I put up a fight. And here's lots of fat mans, and here is the experimental mev that we're looking for. I mean mev. Right. So here we are, hold on, there's a US Army manual here. There we are, the experimental MEV. Now we can repair this with our other fat man and we'll have like... Cool. And so we are, so um, at this level of condition that we have, so at um, just above medium condition, um, we have damage 857, weight 30, and it has a value of 1,430 1, fat. 1,354, sorry, um, caps, if you want you can sell that, but it's entirely up to you. Oh, so quantum down here too. And also, where is it? Yeah, we can go down here and these are all the dead corpses of the Keller family. Creepy, am I right? So um, yeah, I'll go and show you guys some gameplay of this weapon. And I will see you after the gameplay. Okay guys, so as you can see, that weapon, um, it clearly does quite a lot of damage, but I didn't have that much ammo for it, meaning I can only fire one shot, so I decided to do it on a behemoth, so uh, yeah. But um, after, after all this, I think the weapon's great, you should really get it, even if you're trying to sell it, it's great. But um, yeah, so this is the last unique weapons video before I complete the campaign. Now hold on, this isn't the end of Fallout 3 yet, I still need to complete all the DLC. Yes, I know, some people find this annoying, but I really want to see some people who actually like this series, to be fair. So um, yeah. And um, I'll see you guys next time, so peace out.